All right, guys, so I'm uh, just going to do a quick little tutorial on how to export uh, with the best settings in CS6 for uh, uploading to YouTube. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, just make sure that uh, you've got your full timeline here selected. And it's, uh, that's sometimes what kids make the mistake of, at least in mine, where they have part of their timeline and then it only exports that part. But, uh, you know, that hasn't really changed. Then we come to File export media and from there uh, come up to the format setting select H264 and then we've got our preset drop down menu and if we scroll down you'll see that we've got a whole bunch of uh, YouTube presets um, down here. So probably the best one to use just for um, standard definition is the SD 4480p widescreen. Um, if you've recorded in 480, uh, going and using one of the HD ones doesn't really work. But um, so basically the ones you're looking at is, um, you know, 23976 most likely if you've shot 24 frames per second or maybe uh, 30 frames per second. Actually, I think the 30 frames per second is the best one to use for the little Canon FS 200s. Um, and then, of course, if you've uh, shot with HD, you might be using the 720 or even the uh, 1080 um, um, preset. So you select one of those, uh, come into output name, uh, select where you want to save it and give it a name. Um, I'll just say that's fine. We'll go to export. And hit save. And then now you can either choose Q or export. Okay, uh, Q um, will launch Media Encoder, and then you can continue to do something else with Premiere in the background. Um, so that might be kind of handy um, or simply hit export and it'll export. Um, so I'll, because, because this hasn't changed from CS um, probably four, um, I'll show you what it does if I hit Q. Um, it will launch Media Encoder. So if I just hit, hit export, it would have exported using Media Encoder, but right in Premiere. Uh, but the nice thing about this, I hit uh, start Q. Uh, the start Q button and what you can actually do is you can ready a whole bunch for export um, hit start and then just leave the computer and it'll run all of them so um, as this starts to export I can then come back and be working on uh, another one of my sequences or something like that within um, Premiere so that's kind of handy um, but yeah so basically that's it um, for exporting using the the settings. Um, so we're looking at H.264 and then choose the YouTube setting that uh, matches your uh, video's settings. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, give me an email or um, give me a shout and I'll try what I can do to help.